All right, so I just picked up my, my child's iPad that is a part of the Louisville ISD 1 to X program, and I wanna run through just the basic setup and how I configure this for my kids here at home. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go into the settings and I'm gonna connect to our home Wi-Fi to make sure that we've got access to our network. My kids will have access at school, but um, I wanna be sure I turn this on for use at home as well. Password, uh, turn that on and access. And we're now connected. Next step, I'm gonna go into the iTunes and App Store and I'm gonna set up my I Apple ID. So I'm gonna use my own personal one because you can use that for up to 10 devices at home. And so we use one family ID to, uh, to be able to purchase some of our major apps that, so they're shared all the way across the family. So I'm gonna log in with that Apple ID which again is for me, it's a family account. Uh, our kids do not have the password to that because it's connected to a credit card, but it gives them access to the apps that we purchase as a family. We'll use a, a, an account that's not associated with a credit card down the road, uh, but this just gives me a way to get started. I'm not gonna turn on automatic downloads. I want them to be able to kind of personalize that and set that up for themselves. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna go into is into the general options and I want to go in and set up, first of all, some just a couple of restrictions. I'm not big on, on locking things down, but I'm going to turn on restrictions and I'm going to give it a passcode. And this just gives me the ability to do a couple of things. And, and th this is going to be different for each parent, but I'm going to leave all of these tools on. I'm going to turn explicit language off, which any music or content that is um, identified with explicit language will not be allowed. I'm going to set a uh, movie rating. We'll, we'll leave it at PG-13 there. Um, I'm gonna put TV shows. We'll do that at PG. And again, this is just the, this is what the iPad will allow, but we still have conversations as a family about you know very specific content. Apps, I'm gonna leave it 12 plus. 17 plus is already turned off district wide. So any apps that are 17 plus are not allowed. And I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna do this, require a password immediately. Uh, this is anytime there's new content that's downloaded, it's gonna ask for my Apple ID password. And so I'm gonna just turn that on so it always asks. Location services, I do want on because as a parent, I'm gonna turn on find my iPhone so that I can um, you know, find this device if it does get lost. So I'm not gonna allow changes to the location services and I'm gonna have conversations with my kids about what it means to, you know, when they're posting things or when they're creating content, how that can be connected to your location. So I'm just gonna set up some very basic, just kind of high level restrictions, uh, nothing major. These, I can always come back in and tweak these um, later on and make changes to that. Uh, the next thing that I wanna go in and and do is I want to go to the iTunes store. So I logged in with my Apple ID. I'm going to come back out to the home screen and I'm going to go to App Store. And this is going to allow me to download uh, an initial batch of apps, which includes Find My iPhone. It also is going to have iBooks. We do a lot of books uh, through our family Apple ID iTunes U content. I'm going to download all of these, all of these apps. So I'm going to do download free. It's going to ask for my password. So I'm going to plug that in and then it tells me my apps are downloading. So those will now be going in the background and, and everything should now be set up. It's just a little, tells me how I can rearrange the, the screens. So what I'm really going to be waiting for, is this Find My iPhone app to download, and that's what I'm gonna set up next. So after Find My iPhone has downloaded, I'm gonna go in and set this up. The district has no way of, of tracking this device. Um, the district can wipe out the device. They can, so if it gets lost, they can erase everything on it, but they don't, they don't have any way to tap into this information for tracking it. But as a parent, I wanna have access to be able to find this device if it ever does get lost. Sometimes I even get lost in the house and I can make it play a sound to find it, uh, but it also helps me if it, if it gets left somewhere and I, I need to try to track it down. So I'm gonna sign in now with my Apple ID and password. And once I sign in, it will 
get find my iPhone set up. Again, I can always come back in. I can turn these features on or off, but uh, there we go. It's gonna it's gonna do a little location finding and and basically get everything locked in. So I now can track where this iPad is at. So real briefly, I was able to set up my iPad, uh, my my student's iPad, and and I'm ready to hand it to them now. I put some very high level uh, restrictions on it, just that were basically around content to prevent the any kind of R-rated content or NC-17 content, any explicit language, I make sure that that is disabled. Uh, I can always go in and change those settings, but for now, that's where we're gonna start with and, and then have conversations on a very regular basis about what content is appropriate, what do they have on their iPad. They'll all always have their, their passcode uh, so that we can sit down together and talk about what this looks like for their everyday life.